All right, we're back with full moon eclipse readings. This is for the full moon in Taurus, okay? Um, we are doing cardinal signs. That's going to be Capricorn, Cancer, Libra, and Aries, all right? So let's go ahead and get into it. What very truth is being revealed with this illumination for cardinal signs? We have the nine of wands. Listen, you've been through a lot of tests this year, okay? Some of them you've passed. Some of them you failed. But the challenges are coming to an end for a little bit anyway. And you have definitely picked up a lot of knowledge, a lot of lessons, a lot of strength, a lot of resolution, and a lot of spiritual strength, okay? I feel like the truth of your spiritual strength is the revelation that you're having, which is a beautiful thing. What aspect of yourself do you feel needs the most protection? Your intellect, your intellect, your communication, your voice, the way that you process um, and analyze things, you feel like your mind needs the most protection um, at this time. And, and specifically, I feel like it has to do with intellectual property as well. Um, what? Where are your control issues and stubbornness keeping you hostage? You've got the lovers and the magician come through for that. So this is telling me you need to get out of your own way. Now, a lot of people will associate the lovers with relationships. But when I see the lovers right next to the magician, it's not giving me relationship energy. It's giving me shadow integration energy. You need to, again, recognize your power and understand who you are. Because you want to be in control of everything, you think you know everything, you want to know ahead of time how things are going to work, you get in your own way and you, you remove possibilities that actually could help you and be innovative in allowing you to create a new lane for yourself. You talk yourself out of it and you don't know how to integrate the different aspects of yourself to work together so they end up working against each other and you sabotage, okay? That is where your stubbornness and uh, control issues are keeping you hostage. How can you emotionally detach your sense of self-worth from your achievements, possessions, or relationships? Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Take a mental rest. Do more meditative activity and focus on strengthening your the foundation of your mind and your perspective, okay? Um, where have you been overly indulgent or uh, obsessive? The Ten of Wands, listen, you're taking on too much burden and you need to get something off your plate. I don't care what you have to do, get something off your plate, okay? Additional guidance, don't let your past hold you back. New romantic cycles are beginning for you and... Your life is a canvas, so hold yourself accountable for your creative accountability, all right?